Hello, I just want to do a real quick review of one of my favorite things to use, and that is the uh, Moleskin Evernote Smart Notebook. Um, first off, let me recognize that I'm using the word Moleskin improperly. I, I know it is an Italian word, and it is usually pronounced Moleskine, or at least that's its proper pronunciation. I just go with Moleskin, and wrong that may be, but that's how I do it. Um, I've owned a few of these, and um, the most commonly used one is your standard uh, smart notebook. Mine is a grid pattern. I've filled a couple over the last year or so. Um, but what makes this uh, kind of a unique book is that it allows people like me who love to put pen to paper and work in a non-digital world, um, allows them to take that information, that content, and put it into their digital hub. My digital hub being Evernote. Um, you'll see here on the back, like all Moleskin books, a back cover has a pocket and there are stickers. The stickers are kind of the key to the uh, functionality here uh, because you can assign tags and or notebooks to any of your stickers and then when you apply them to your note that's exactly where Evernote files them. Um, you'll see that I've put a little, I don't know if you'd call that an index or some sort of legend where I've um, handwritten just what those stickers mean in my Evernote world. For today's demo, we're using the sketchbook. It's a different cover. There are fewer sheets because the paper stock is heavier and it's meant for art media. Um, but they work just the same. And for today's purposes, we're going with something kind of generic, like this here to-do list. Um, I'm going to apply this here office building sticker. And in my setup, the office building sticker applies a business tag to this note and it also stores it automatically in a business strategy notebook. Now I don't suppose that a to-do list really fits there but for today it does. So I've got that just the way I want it. I'll start up my phone and part of the technology behind this the app and the notebook itself is that each page is lined with a very fine, they're hard to see, very fine light dot pattern and apparently that Oh, allows the app to, uh, or allows the camera to straighten edges and to give you, most of the time, a uh, straight up and down note. So I'm just going to fire up Evernote. I will hit the camera note. And you'll probably see here there are a few different types of settings for the camera. Business card, document, photo, and a post-it note and uh, we want to use document. We line it up, it doesn't have to be perfect. Shoot the photo. There we have it. Let's take this to the desktop and see how it turned out. So I've just launched Evernote on my phone and I'm going to start a new note by hitting the camera button. Uh, that opens up the camera, of course, and there are a few different options. There's business card, photo, post-it note, and the one that I have set by default is document. That's what we want here. I'm going to kind of sort of line it up. I'm, I'm not too particular about it. Let's check the capture. You'll see that the business tag has been applied just like we want. And I'm going to hit the check mark here, and that will, unfortunately, close the note. I say unfortunately because... It doesn't give me an option to title the note. It just uses a default um, titling uh, based on the location in this case. And uh, that's a bit of a workaround. I have to go back in and uh, I'll show you how to do that right now. I'm going to hit OK. There you go. It's got an address attached to it. That's all fine, but it is a bit of a pain. So we'll call it to-do list. And we're done. Let's just look over, uh, let's jump over to the desktop and see what that looks like. I am now in Evernote for the Mac. I'm going to sync it either by hitting Command S or that icon just over there. To-do list showed up in the business strategy notebook and it has the business tag. There you go. Pretty easy.